Why do you think you're so attracted to writing about, you know, science? Uh, I love the company of scientists. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, like you, I know a lot of writers and liberal arts know nothings, you know, like us who got through our three years at university by tumbling out of bed at midday and, you know, turning in that late essay. And I have a lot of respect for the scientists who really learnt something at college and have added a body of knowledge. And I love it for their curiosity and optimism. Mm -hmm. Us humanities types tend to wear our cultural pessimism as sort of badge. You know, it's, it's our default position. The world is always going to hell in a handcart. You spend some time with uh, some physicists, as I did a couple of days ago, they see all the problems, but they're always thinking about solutions. To them. Do you think it's because uh, also that, that rigor is in such kind of depleting supply in so much of our sort of culture around us at the moment, that there is a rigor that's required of science that isn't as required uh, by liberal humanity? Yeah, uh, and when you say around us, I mean, again, around us, yeah. <laughs> liberal arts know nothing, come back to <laughs> Yes, uh, you know, we do need a bit more rigor. No one ever writes a review of a book of, um, puts it up for peer review. Mm. Nothing we say. Well, you could argue the blogosphere yeah. is becoming peer review. But we accept, for example, if you want to make a generalization, that, that a sample of two is about fine. Yeah. Uh, and it's not. Mm.